my organization here is South Florida Tech for Seniors. Uh, this is our first year uh, review. Uh, so about SFTFS, the mission is simple and it's to provide free technology support for senior citizens in South Florida. Um, and a big aspect of what we do is not only providing, you know, really high quality, personalized, accessible support for seniors, but also being a meaningful volunteer opportunity uh, for students to actually volunteer with something that can really help out people in their community. Some of the accomplishments so far, uh, we've got direct support for Morse Life Assisted Living Residents. And actually, I didn't even put this in the slides because it just happened yesterday, uh, but I just met with Morse Life and more information on that soon about uh, returning back to in-person support, working directly with their residents, um, you know, the people who are in assisted living and in independent living who are really, you know, feeling isolated in that environment, we're going to be back in there, um, you know, working with them directly and really helping out. So I'm pretty proud of that. Uh, we've had over 100 SFTFS events, including uh, support events for seniors and student volunteer events. We usually do a weekly meeting via Zoom where we connect with the volunteers and make sure everybody's on the same page. Uh, over 850 social media followers across our various channels on uh, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, all of that. Uh, and featured in the news by the Kelly Clarkson Show, which you guys heard mentioned before, which is a nationally televised program. Uh, the Epoch Times is a, a national, uh, nationally printed, I guess, newspaper. Uh, South Florida PBS, Florida Weekly, Palm Beach Post, WPTV, and the School District of Palm Beach County. Uh, so as far as the impact we've had so far, uh, thousands of one-on-one -on -one interactions with senior citizens from across the state of Florida. Uh, over 100 volunteers signed up in total. Um, so obviously there's different degrees of interaction as far as what different people are doing and who's coming to what events. Um, but in total, we do have over 100 volunteers uh, who signed up for the program. Um, on our YouTube channel, we've had over 278 hours of videos watched, which is you know like over 10 days straight of people just watching those videos. We're doing uh, informational and educational stuff about step-by-step -step tutorials for tech products and services, uh, and just countless stories of seniors learning how to get connected to the devices and use the internet to stay in touch with family and friends and you know stay connected with the outside world and, and information. Uh, so some of the problems faced, obviously everybody struggled with the COVID-19 pandemic uh, and it forced us into a, you know, forced us to adapt really to the environment. We certainly didn't give up because if anything, people needed it now more than they ever did before but it definitely gave us a lot of obstacles as far as how we could offer that same level of support. Um, so we, we moved to a, a virtual or not, not as much a virtual, but a distance program using uh, phone call support, Zoom video support for people who were you know, a little more high tech and were able to get up and, up and running on Zoom and also remote access for, uh, for computer systems like desktop and laptop computers. Uh, so obviously some of that had you know, limited us for certain hardware problems like printers and physical things where you just don't have the same level of access. Um, and, you know, some seniors were frustrated by the lack of in-person support. Uh, but with the widespread rollout of the vaccines and the precautions in place, we're very excited this summer we're going to do a big push, a big return to in-person offerings. As I mentioned, we're going back into Morse Life uh, starting in June to work with them directly. And, you know, depending on how it works there and what kind of feedback we're seeing there, we're going to use that as a basis, uh, you know, a launching point to work with other organizations and other seniors uh, in person in the future. Uh, so as far as the budget, it's mostly been up until now on uh, technology hardware, like hardware infrastructure. Uh, so stuff like the laptops, the video kit for making the videos, um, and then some of our software that we use on the back end as far as the, the phone call support, the creative cloud software for editing videos and that sort of thing. Um, and basically the plan for the funding, and I know I think there's something I have to uh, submit officially, but we're definitely looking to go into the second year, um, you know, continuing that funding to really really make it last and have that bigger impact. Um, so as of now, we spent a, a little less than half of the total awarded funds. Um, and you know, into the future, that's gonna be, we're probably gonna see some higher expenses because we're gonna be traveling and you know, trying to cover food and making sure we have you know, t-shirts and merchandise and that sort of thing. And we might need more. We're gonna continue the hardware investment uh, and also the software investment, making sure we have the back end to really scale everything up. Um, okay, so that's some of what I mentioned there, the future expenses continuing in the, in the technology infrastructure, both on the hardware and software end, covering that merchandise stuff and making the volunteer experience as seamless as possible by trying to cover the transportation, food, and other expenses uh, when we can. Uh, so as far as the future goals, I guess this is a bit redundant at this point, but returning to that in-person support uh, and doing both the one-on-one -on -one approach of working with people directly, and we're also going to be exploring some workshops, maybe working at giving presentations at Morse Life or even local libraries or things like that, where we can get a whole group of people involved 
uh, and do an educational experience that a lot of people can benefit from all at the same time. We're also looking to build out some more relationships with senior-centered uh, organizations. Obviously, we've got that existing relationship at Morse Life, and you know, based on how that works and based on what we learn from that situation, we're going to use that to work with other organizations, uh, you know, get more seniors just to be aware of the services that we're offering, um, but to also you know, build those tight relationships and have that high quality support that integrates directly with their programs. Uh, we're also uh, going to hopefully expand our online content offerings, including, including increasing the video production as far as YouTube videos, step-by-step -step tutorials. Um, and we're also getting ready to launch our blog, which includes some written tutorials that are going to correspond with those videos. So some people prefer to do it at their own pace or they're, you know, prefer to read it and see the screenshots. Some people like the video. So we're really going to try to make a complementary program where we have both aspects covered. Uh, and then also some of our news and updates and whatnot will be going out through the blog. Uh, looking to promote our services more using social media, advertising when necessary, or just through word of mouth or working through other organizations that are as passionate as we are about helping others. Uh, we're looking to continue to bring on more volunteers throughout the summer into the next school year uh, and to engage those volunteers with meetups, workshops, and tutorials. Um, so the succession plan, how are we gonna keep the organization going um, beyond the point where I'm able to oversee everything? Obviously, we're committed to maintaining the mission of SFTFS uh, long after I'm able to personally manage what's going on. Uh, we're actively identifying some of our top volunteers and we're working hard to recruit underclassmen to join the team in fact, I think I'm actually one of the oldest people on the team, which is good because we're definitely trying to get some, <laughs> some youth into it, getting the, the freshmen involved and the sophomores involved. Uh, and then I've mentioned here, my younger siblings are both uh, engaged in the organization and they're, they're potential candidates too down the line uh, for continuing the organization. All right, uh, these are some pictures here, SFTFS in the news. So you've got the, the Palm Beach Post on the left. Um, that's the Palm Beach County School District over on the right. In the bottom middle, we've got the Epoch Times. And then of course on the right, that was our Instagram story teasing the, uh, the Kelly Clarkson show appearance. If you have any questions or comments or thoughts right now, you can let me know.